Hey everyone, another week and another ratcheting up in seriousness for the coronavirus. For me personally, I was affected when my car engine's warning light came on despite it just being serviced, but then it turned out it was just the coronavirus. What's been going on around the world then? Well, in the UK, London's been put on lockdown with the Queen making a quick dash to Windsor Castle before the curfew came into effect. Most people, of course, are not able to relocate from their one-bedroom flat to a massive mansion out in the countryside. The Islington Metro set are also very puzzled about why only men and women are being quoted amongst the dead. You know, the news never quotes any numbers for the other 55 genders. There's also a lot of talk about airports, about how to detect new cases, to which I would suggest they're all there on that carousel going around and around. Come on, so-called experts, it's obvious. In Italy, though, there's a morbidly large set of numbers being reported with the government suggesting they're going to have to bring in incinerators to dispose of the bodies. That's an industrial sector that Germany, of course, historically dabbled in, although they tend not to mention it these days. Perhaps they're more interested in the French response to the virus after the government in Paris said that it was at war with the contagion and the best way to fight that war is to stay at home, which, as we all know, didn't work out very well for them back in 1939 money to America. Well, it really depends what part of the country you live in. The Midwest is mostly okay, but New York is starting to resemble that Kurt Russell film where they turned it into a prison. Philadelphia is starting to look like it did in that movie 12 Monkeys, and on the West Coast they're pretty worried because in this age of social chains and contact and degrees of separation, we all know that if Kevin Bacon tests positive, then everyone has it. The president also came under fire recently for suggesting that it's not racist to call it the Chinese virus, although it really depends on how you do it, you know, like if you put two fingers up to the corners of your eyes then, you know. As for me, I'm working from home and the only way I can see my health being damaged is this diet consisting largely of vast quantities of pasta and tinned food. I ran out of milk as well today and I popped to the local shop and all they had was evaporated milk and then when I took it home I discovered it was just an empty jar. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.